I'm just going to show you what it took to oil the house. It's been a while. We had rain here and there, so it was hard to get it done, but I finally got it done. I think it looks nice, so leave it down in the comments below. Let me know if you like it. Prep work always seems like it takes the longest. Masking off all the windows and putting plastic over them. Putting the oil on. Not that time consuming. The nice part about the oil is once you spray it on, where the wood is rough, you don't have to wipe it. On the trim and stuff where it's smooth, and then these stripes, you kind of got to hit it with the rag. And the other nice thing is the penetrating oil soaks into the wood. So, say in five to ten years, when it needs to be done again, you don't gotta sand it or scrape it. All you have to do is if the house is dirty, you can power wash it and then just spray a new coat of oil on it. Sure beats painting. We were gonna just let the wood naturally weather, but this front side of the house gets the sun pretty good for most part of the day. And the boards have been on for a little over six months now and they're already starting to cup a little bit. So I wanted to put the oil on where it has a UV protectant to it. It should help the boards that way. And coming off the roof, the first foot of the boards gets splattered on by the water. The oil mist really likes to float around in the air and can go quite a bit of distance. So I want to make sure I cover the garden bed here and keep any oil off the vegetation. you have a hat on it said this oil goes everywhere long sleeve shirt pants rubber gloves you want some nice terry cloth or t-shirt material rags that soak up the oil and then I'm using an additive called bug juice you can mix it in with paint or oil it's supposed to be safe you can use it in the inside of your house and the outside of your house it's supposed to keep away any bugs from landing and building nests on the outside of the house so that was another big reason to go ahead and oil the house with this additive. We can keep any wasps from building nests on the house or spiders from building stuff on the house. That'd be really great. So we're just using a backpack pump sprayer with a nozzle end on it. And then for the oil, use an ultra premium Penafin penetrating oil, clear. The UV protection oil for siding and deck. I just take my bug juice and I dump it in after I fill up half of what I plan on putting in the sprayer. So that way it helps mix it up when I dump in the other half.
this is what the finished product looks like. I'll go ahead and give you guys a tour around the house and I'll try to throw in some before photos. That's the side we just sprayed tonight. This is the first side we did about a week and a half ago. This is the side we just did tonight. Here's the back side of the house. Here's the walkout basement end of the house. Thanks guys for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions on the oil we use, leave them in the comments below. I'm kind of curious what your ideas and what you guys thought of the oil. We really like the bug juice idea. I have noticed since we've sprayed the oil on, it's been about a week and a half on some sides, the bugs are not landing on the house. We're not having any spiders or any cobwebs build up so far. So we're really excited about that and we'll see you back here next time at Lumna Acres. Oh,